So the arts and crafts movement takes its name from a very specific uh, exhibition, which was set up in 1888. Uh, by May Morris, who was William Morris's daughter, and uh, his friend Walter Crane, and it was called the Arts and Crafts Exhibition Society. And what they were trying to do is to sort of think differently from the the paintings exhibitions. So there was already a very strong tradition in London of uh, exhibiting watercolours, oil paintings, sculpture. But they were recognising that there were people making beautiful things, making beautiful decorated pianos, beautiful stained glass, textiles, ceramics, and there wasn't really a place to showcase all of this. So the Arts and Crafts Exhibition Society forms um, in the late 1880s. They exhibit in the new gallery, which is usually used for paintings, but they take it over and it's filled with the most wonderful objects, mostly designs for the home, some designs for churches. Um, and on the back of that, um, they, they sort of generate uh, a whole wave of, of other exhibitions and other designers who come to see it. And, and people who think, yes, I, I, I want my house to look like this, but also I've got the skills. I can also call myself an artist and I think that's one of the big changes that rather than people only being called artists if they're working as an oil painter or a watercolorist actually you know someone like someone like Kate Faulkner or Lucy Faulkner uh, they're good friends of Mae Morris they're making designs on uh, ceramics they're making designs on furniture they are also artists and so it's expanding this idea of what makes a beautiful home and that it's one of the problems is arts and crafts then tends to get associated with something amateur um, and maybe not not terribly good maybe not terribly neat and tidy and there is this element which is non-perfectionist there is an element which is about self-expression from the beginning um, but I think it's also you know with with a lot of these particularly women artists, they have amazing skills. And this is the first opportunity for them to, uh, to feel um, that they are part of a community of skilled people and they can claim the name of artist.